everybody, and welcome to Meet the Dog. I'm Chris, and with me today is my favorite girl, Emma. Emma it came to us from the Czech Republic with her sister, Evie. She is currently part of Service Dog Pro Project's breeding program. Uh, she is a little over three years old now. She turned three back in May, so she'll be uh, three and a half in a couple months. She's a very good girl, eats three times a day when she wants to. Uh, I do give her breakfast, lunch, and dinner a cup and a half each. However, she has a tendency to skip breakfast. Uh, she's been doing that a lot lately. So I'm trying to, try, uh, trying to figure out some ways to get her to eat. Um, but she does usually, when, she, when she's in the mood for it, she does eat three, cups a day, uh, three, uh, three meals a day, cup and a half each. Uh, last time we weighed her, she was, I believe, about 115 pounds, uh, short and stout. She's a very good girl. She likes going on hikes in the woods, likes running around, playing with other dogs. Though she can be a bit of a brat when she's playing with other dogs, she likes to uh, act tough, especially with the younger dogs. Though I've learned by now that she's mostly just uh, blowing hot air. <laughs> Isn't that right? Good girl. Good girl. What else about Miss Emma? She does very well with people and other dogs. Uh, however, I think her one um, the thing that she, I, I have really been tr or trying to work on with her is her anxiety. Uh, she gets very anxious in new places, um, whether it's the vet or if I take her, if she comes to Petco with me, or um, if I go over to a friend's place with her, she has a tendency to get very anxious. Sometimes she'll melt down, won't want to move. Um, a little bit of coaxing, we can usually get her to, to move, but uh, it's something I'm trying to work on with her. So she can get a little little vocal with people she's uh, nervous with. Sometimes she can get a little bit of a, not like an aggressive growl, but kind of that low, like, grumble, like a kind of thing. Uh, that's something I've been trying to work on her with. Uh, never, never aggressive towards people, but uh, definitely vocal about how nervous she is, I would say. After she gets a sniff, she usually warms up to people pretty well. Um, but first impressions tend to be tough for her. Uh, I'm going to open it up to some questions about Miss Emma. Who is the only dog I can count on to just stay on the, ca the couch nice and still like this. Uh, Crafty asks, how is she different from SDP born dogs? I think I mentioned it a little while ago, I mentioned about her anxiety. I think her anxiety is definitely, uh, she has a lot more than a lot of the STP born dogs that I've worked with. Uh, we, I mean, we've had a couple here and there that have definitely had some pretty bad anxiety. Um, but parts per whole, they're usually a lot more confident. Um, I don't know what cause, because Evie also had this, as well as Duchess and, to a lesser degree, Duke, who came to the farm around the same time. Uh, all of them kind of ended up having some severe anxiety. Uh, not sure really what the cause of it was. My best guess was they came right around the time of Dog Fest that year. Um, and they were still very, very young, and I remember us bringing them down during Dog Fest to the barn. 
and that was a lot of people and definitely stressed them out a little bit so that could have been part of it could have been the flight over um that of course was must have been a very nerve-wracking experience for her uh so i'm not sure what what the cause of her anxiety is but she definitely has a bit more than a lot of the dogs i have worked with that were born here Yes, who are her dog friends? Uh, she gets along pretty well with mostly everyone. She does have a tendency to act a bit tough, especially with younger dogs. Uh, so she doesn't always kind of like play with them. Uh, but she does get along well enough that she we can put her out with pretty much anyone and she'll be fine with them. Uh, the only one that I've had trouble with in the past was Dawes. Um, who responded to her acting tough by acting tough himself, and that results in them getting in a bit of an argument. Neither of them were hurt, uh, but I have not put them together since, just as a kind of precaution. Um, in the past, she got along very well with um, Deanna from the Tribbles Litter and Nessie, um, Nessie and her sister Callie. Uh, her and Nessie especially got along real well uh nessie and then deanna from the trebles she loved the both of them um i remember I, I took both of them on overnights because of it and nessie actually stayed with us for a couple days and the two of them loved it um so she got along very well with them um gets along well with uh lisa donna's dog um who else has Tasha from the Tribbles Litter, she got along pretty well with. Uh, Naomi was a little hit or miss. I remember I used to put them together, but then they kind of started getting a bit iffy with each other. So we stopped that. As for the current dog, she gets along well with Sugar, Winnie, uh, Jet a little bit. She, Her and Jet don't seem to be huge fans of each other. Like, they play. They're not going to fight. But I think Jet's a little bit scared of her. So they don't always play. Uh, she gets along with, with Alfred, Derby, um, I think Banks is another one who I think is a little bit scared of her, but they will play together. I have not tried her with, no, I have tried her with, uh, the Three Blues before. Uh, back when they first came to the barn, I put her out there with them. Um, and Elle would piss her off to the point that she she uh she tried to put him in his place uh, she snapped at him a little bit he was he was fine he actually went right back to try to bother her um but she has not been with uh any of them since and she has not been with uh mickey or minnie i keep meaning to try them together and we just have not gotten around to it uh, it's been hard because the barn's full up right now so it's hard to get her over there she's usually over here during the day and where I'm trying to focus on getting the other dogs out to play, uh, sometimes Emma doesn't always get over there. She does do generally well, even uh, with dogs that we meet while we're out hiking. Uh, she's even done well with uh, another dog who was in heat. There was one time where she was in heat um, and we actually ran into another dog, a younger dog, probably nine months old, who had just gone to their first heat, and she did perfectly fine with them, so. Uh, Crafty asks, how are her heat cycles? Uh, a bit more stable than they used to be. The past couple heat cycles were five months in between. Uh, in the past, we've had ones that were like four months in between, three months in between, six, the regular six months. Um, so they've been a bit random. The past couple have seemed to follow like a, have seemed to follow a five month. Um, so I think we're looking at that for the next time she goes into heat, though it could surprise us. She could go to heat like a month earlier than that. Um, she could go into heat at the normal six months. I'm not sure. 
while she's in heat, she does get very clingy. Uh, she tends to try to stick as close to me as she possibly can at any given time. Um, gets a little, her anxiety about certain things that she's already anxious about tend to get a bit worse. Uh, stairs, for example, the last time she went to heat, um, she stopped being comfortable doing stairs on her own. Like, she would not go up and down the stairs unless I was, like, right there with her. Um, beyond that, she's usually not much changes. Maybe a little spicier than normal, but not much beyond that. She's usually pretty much the same uh, when she goes to heat. I'm stop betting it doesn't mean I'm not here. Uh, Crafty asks, what are her favorite treats? I don't usually give her a lot of treats. Um, mostly just try to try to help with her messes, try to get those under control. Um, she has almost taken my hand off for milk bones before. Um, and I do have special treats that I give her at home that are salmon rather than chicken. I switched her to salmon uh, a while ago as part of trying to see if I can get her messes a bit more regular. Uh, so I've got her some treats to go along with that. She'll, she will eat those. She's not going to, when she's home, she's not like super food motivated. Like I could give her a treat and she'll be like, oh, awesome. When I do it here, she'll take my hand off for it. Uh, but she's not a very food motivated dog normally. So she doesn't get a lot of treats. Uh, Crafty S says she attend outside SDP events. Uh, no, not usually. I, uh, yeah, I don't think she's gone to uh, any SDP events since she's been in training. Honestly, I think she's just anxious enough that probably she wouldn't enjoy it. Um, I think it would be it would be it would be good for her training wise, but it would also be a lot for her. I don't think we would be able to be there very long. Girl, a few more minutes for any last minute questions about Emma. Yeah, you're enjoying this because I'm I get to be with you this entire time, huh? Is she a good color at home? Yes, yes, she will. 
typically at night when uh, she'll sleep on my bed with me, and she'll usually curl right up with me. Sometimes rest her head on my uh, on me, but uh, yeah. He's not as much of a uh, lap dog as some of the other dogs that I've worked with. Once in a while, she'll uh, throw her entire weight on me, but not very often. It's usually just uh, a head maybe curling up right next to me. Take care.